Hello, everybody. Sounds good. Uh, happy to see you this afternoon. We're going to present you SkyTed. It's how to make a TED talk in the sky during a flight. Uh, we want to work in high density transport and to open calls in a very high density area. Um, yeah, we are backed by Airbus Development. Uh, we're in technology uh, agreement with OneWeb, European Space Ag uh, Agency, and we work with the ONERA, the French Aerospace Lab. Quickly, I left my job of, as a VP of Airbus in Singapore to answer a very simple question from a Contas VP. How 300 passengers can make a call at the sa same time on an aircraft without killing each other? Because retry, he told me, we open the voice of our IP in the airplanes, people start to make calls and people start to fight. So we have been dabbling with that for the last five years, how to make 300 calls, to make an acoustic silo into an aircraft that everybody can call without interfering with your next shoulder neighbor. Second part was Tom Enders, came to me when I was in Singapore and he said, Major Tom, hey, how we can monetize the presence of passenger on board? We try to answer those two questions now. First, one billion people now are connected every day. We are all on Zoom teams every day. Second part, $40 billion are spent in duty-free shop in the airport. There is no ancillary revenue for the airlines. So we developed this product. It's a mask that absorbs human voice sound. So when you make a call, nobody can hear what you said. We, we've been working with the ONERA, the French Aerospace Lab, to incorporate the silencer of an aircraft, put it into a mask, and then when you call, nobody can, can hear what you said. So why ConfCall is a must-have as of today? First, Leo satellite like OneWeb are going to bring 200 megabytes um, compared to the, 300, to the 30 megabytes of uh, Jero satellites. Two, with SkyTed cover-up, now you can make a call without your neighbor, even notice you are, you are calling. And three, keep in mind the abbreviation of work is we are pretty much in 2019 tra travel habits plus six to eight calls per day. So we need to be contacted full time. So we work, for example, with Team Zoom and, and, and Google Meet to connect people on the airplane. How does it work? This is a, the sad to sit architecture. So we're going to master all this. We're going to work with Zoom and Teams to, um, to, to mark their traffic. So when a passenger is silent and is not making noise over his shoulder, we're going to, try to mark the traffic to the mod man, mod manager. So that means we are, he's gonna, his call is going to be able to go through the satellite and, be, and connect people on the ground. If you use your iPod or you're very loud, you're going to be close here. And so we have a total control of the cabin. Every passenger can make his own acoustic silo without interfering with the others. If you speak too loud, you're going to be disconnected. So we ensure operators like airline or train operators that everybody is going to remain into their, uh, I will say, acoustic distance. So we are were nine talk with uh, Zoom, Orange for offices, call centers, Samsung to have a private dedicated part, SNCF, which is a TGV train, who wants to, of course, to open Nazis mask on the train. And uh, United Airlines, once more, it's interesting to put that on the plane. And NATO for military application, like SWAT team, who wants to be totally still when they, they storm into a building. So that's going to have a huge interference with the, with the seat. This is where I come from. I spent five years on selling seats and monetized passenger presence on board. We're going to launch Interact. That means two people will be able to connect in the plane prepare confidential uh, meetings, for example, without everybody noticing, talk to the ground, peer to ground, or call in flight duty free shop. This is how we're going to monetize this business model. Why? Because business model of the in flight duty free shop is now born to, to be, to be uh, I will say, uh, set up on the airplanes. First, you have 100 million passengers who are flying premium cabins, first business or premium economy. Passengers are relaxed and captive, up to 21 hours for the Contas flight, the famous one, which is going to fly from Sydney to London. It's duty-free, it's no stress compared to the uh, free shop on the airport. And one website con connectivity will bring now up to 500 megabytes. So we're going to have the capacity, we're going to have the time, and now we have to bring completely new service to, this, to these passengers. 
So we offer voice control. This is a mask. We offer the patent cab quiet cabin, as I explained, and we offer services. So this is how the, uh, the future IFE in flight entertainment screen is going to look like. You're going to be able to call, for example, Louis Vuitton assistant to call anytime to see a product, buy it during the flight and have it deliver at the gate. So it's going to be, of course, much more sustainable as you won't fly. Cost of weight is not going to be in the cabin. It's going to be on the ground. Two, you're going to be able to talk in online source, buy a bag and have it, a call a clerk who is going to show it to you, having wine experience with anybody, for example, for a grand chateau of wine, and be able to have a wine tour during the flight for first class passengers, and to have private calls to call friends to ask whatever they want to have on board. So today we are going to be able to have a complete new experience, to have Zoom calls for the one who want to work, and to completely bring the passenger out of the cabin and be uh, bring him the possibility to connect anytime with the industry. This is brand new, this is patented, and this is coming from Toulouse. This is Kaitet. Thank you very much.